Good day. To, today's reading, scripture reading, comes from uh, the upcoming reading for Sunday uh, from Genesis chapter 17. God said to Abram, No longer shall your name be Abram, but your name shall be Abraham, for I've made you the ancestor of a multitude of nations. That was verse 5. It's coming down to verse 15. And then God said to Abraham, as for Sarai, your wife, you shall not call her Sarai, but Sarah shall be her name. I will bless her, and more, moreover, I will give you a son by her. I will bless her, and she shall give rise to nations. Kings of peoples shall come from her. The, there's power in a name. Abram means father. And when God said, you shall be called Abraham, it, it was not just father, but great father like uh um yeah as you said the father of many nations it's also sarai means princess sarah means my princess or more it has a more of a queen feel so not just somebody who will become royalty but who is royalty and who will rule over nations um my name is philip uh of course most of most people call me phil but it means lover of horses. It's interesting when I was, I remember when I was five or six, I had 21 little play horses. There's, there's something about a name. By the way, Pastor Laura's name, Laura, means crown of glory. Um, for her, that was a name that when she uh, understood the meaning of it, really called forth something. So there's power in a name. When you think about all the names people can call people that can really take them out and down. I think it's, I don't have to, I don't want to use really, you know, words like uh, idiot and things like that. They have tremendous power, trick damage. But also there's names that we're given that really call forth something in us. At our baptism, we are called child of God. And so I, when I was baptized, I became Philip, child of God. And when we allow our names, uh, those kind of names, especially the names given to us by God, to call us forth, it transforms who we're being and uh, even calls forth what we can provide to the world. Let us pray. God, you have called each of us by name, and you have given each of us a name. Allow us to, especially when the names that the world wants to call us, when they take us down and beat us up and have us think that we are not worthy or not capable. May we remember the name you have given us, child of God. And may that remembrance, may that, uh, may we to our core accept that identity and allow it to set us free, to call us forth, to live in your name as your children. Amen.